Uh, well, today the first thing we're going to do is show you how to make uh, a proper fist, and Andy will show you how to do that, and then we're going to go on some basic uh, focus mat drills. Okay. So when you make a fist, you'll put your fingers down to your palm, curl it in, and I put my thumb right here on the outside, a lot of styles will put the thumb right on the middle finger when they're punching, but if you hold just your thumb on the top part, it makes your wrist stronger, so it doesn't bend as much. Like if you're hitting a heavy bag, you won't pull your wrist as easy. So when you're making your fist, you want to start, before you throw a punch, you want to start with an open hand and close on impact. And usually when I'm throwing a punch, I'm striking with the front first two knuckles. If I'm throwing it up, or even if I'm turning it over, I'm throwing it mainly hitting these two knuckles. On occasion I'll hit more flat fisted if I was going to do a longer hook. If I was to step out and throw a wider hook I might hit a little bit more flat. But usually I'm just going to be using my front two knuckles. So we're going to do a couple basic uh, focus mid drills just so you get a little idea of some of the punching. We'll start out with uh, uh, right cross, left upper hook, and then uh, a right hook, so you can kind of see some of the focus mid drills that we do. So I'm gonna start. And when I'm throwing a hook, I'm throwing it real short, trying to keep it pretty tight to my body. It's not gonna be as much of a wider one, so I'm still trying to use my, my two knuckles, and I'm trying to keep my hands open and then closing them on impact. So we'll step it up a little bit, uh, just so you can see some of, some of the drills we do. One of the reasons as to why you have your hand open as well when you do a punch, it actually makes you quicker on your, on your punch. Uh, if you have a closed fist, it actually tends to slow you down because you're tightened up. It makes you loose while you have your hand open before impact. Okay, so you go. Try to keep your body into it, moving with all your punches. Keep your hands up afterwards if you can. Your knees are kind of bent. Hands are up. Your eyes are open. Stomach's tight. So I'm not trying as much to do something harder and heavier like if you're hitting a heavy bag. I'm pretty much just doing it to throw a couple different punches, get used to different things. If you wanted to work on, uh, say, a jab, uh, getting out of the way of a jab, if he throws a left jab, a lot of people will move out of the way but not get their shot off. So uh, one of the things that we like to practice is when a jab comes when I'm moving, I'm throwing a jab at the same time. So I'm not just moving, resetting, and then getting ready to throw a punch. When he throws a jab, boom, I'm trying to come right in on him with the jab. Boom. Slipping it, getting right out of the way. I'm shuffling just over, kind of at an angle, but still advancing. Uh, one side, second. Uh, you want to switch sides? Yeah. Let me see it, Let me see it on this side. Too. Yep. So another one they could do, uh, practicing when he uh, would throw like a hook at me. So uh, say if I throw a, uh, I'll have a left right, and then he throws a hook, just dipping underneath it, and then throwing a punch afterwards. So maybe a straight cross afterwards. Okay. So I hit him jab. trying to keep loose, moving, keeping my hands open, closing my point of impact, get out of the way, uh, keep your movement good, your speed good. So there's just a couple things that you can do, uh, do a focus mid drill, a uh, couple ideas, uh, 
comment, share, like, and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Take care, guys.